side. But I'm going to try and see if I can make a meal out of this. I'll see what else I'll add. But I'm also going to add some cheese to it along with some spinach. And I'm not sure, but I may boil a little extra noodles. Um, I know that the sauce in here is probably going to get not diluted. Probably going to lose the sauce because of so much noodles. But I'll see what I come up with. Okay, so I have the water in here. I have the, I put some onion. I put the, some of the rotini. I'm gonna let that cook before I add the noodles because I believe these noodles are pretty much cooked. Okay, so the pasta is almost ready. So this is the point I'm gonna go ahead and add the packages. Okay, I added extra water, a little, another pad of butter. <clears throat> now I'm adding some garlic salt to make sure it's got some flavor. This thing's not even coming out. Here we go. Okay, garlic salt. And cheese. And some frozen spinach. Just gonna give this a quick turn. Most likely, it doesn't say to cover, but most likely for the spinach, I should have put the spinach and the peas with the boiling water, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it on low and add some cheese after. Okay, it looks, it looks good, but I think I'm going to add a little more peas and more spinach. I think it just needed a little bit more veggies in it. Okay, so I have not put cheese in it yet, and I'm going to go ahead and just give it a quick taste to see what it needs. Mmm. It really doesn't need cheese, but I think cheese might bring it up a notch. There's the mozzarella cheese. Just give it a quick mix. Hey friends, it has a great balance of garlic salt and some fat with the butter. I had to use three pats of butter since I didn't have any milk so I needed to make up for that and I thought I'd need the mozzarella cheese to make up for the loss of the milk um, <clears throat> I really didn't need it because it really tasted good it's like a light thin coating of the sauce because I did add extra plain rotini noodles But I did go ahead and add some mozzarella cheese to it. And one more scoop. Okay, friends, here it is. Here is a quick and easy put together pantry slash freezer meal. Uh, just whipped it together for a quick light dinner. If you need something heavier, you're probably going to need a little bit more than this. But I think this pasta with butter and the cheese that's in it will uh, go ahead and satisfy. Okay, friends, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Let me know in the comments below what was your dinner tonight. Thanks for watching, friends.